Good morning, people. How are yous doing? I'm a wise ass. Anyways, uh, it's Tuesday morning, the 28th of March. <coughs> I'm going to get myself an omelet. It's like 9.35 in the morning. Didn't do anything yesterday uh, for when it comes to plumbing anyways for you know my company I had to work on my house you know my pool the remote control stopped working and uh, it's kind of a it was kind of a nightmare to be honest with you getting the parts and the price on the parts of course my my supplier was double the price of everybody else uh, so I went in and I questioned him and he said all I can tell you is buy it from them and uh, so I did and then he texted me back later in the afternoon maybe somebody talked to him or whatever and uh, he came back with a price half of what he had told me uh, all throughout the day because I was really questioning how much this thing costs so uh, he lost the sale um, tried to gouge me for whatever reason um, retaliation retribution I don't know but uh, it's very tough to run a business without a, a trusted supplier is all I can say and if you know you have to like look over everything with a microscope going to be tough you may want to find somebody else to do business with or at least limit the business that you do with them because uh, it stresses you out man but I ended up getting my I had to put a new antenna on my uh, automatic pool control system and uh, buy a new um, remote control which my supplier shot me a price of 1100 bucks out the door he says yeah 1100 out the door, tax, tag, and title. Yeah. 1100 fucking dollars, are you kidding me? It's got the same damn, same damn radio as my, my garage door opener has in it, you know? Anyways, um, I got it fixed, and I took a spa last night when the sun was going down, and it was wonderful. Uh, I've got a little job to do this morning my neighbor the people who lived I did a couple of videos on this house um, they were the last couple of videos the guy was selling the house and he had a laundry list of shit to do from a home inspector and the first thing the people do when they buy the house he, he sold the house so they're gone now the new homeowners he gave them my card and highly recommended me. And uh, they disconnected. They're getting a new washer and dryer. And uh, the valve's leaking on the washer machine. So I just need to go throw a couple of boiler drains in there. Um, I may throw... I have some washing machine valves. Uh, they're a little more expensive. And it takes a little more effort to put them in. I actually uh, have to cut the shank on them, but they are, uh, it says on the, on the package, half inch IPS, but it, you know, I don't, it doesn't appear to be an IPS uh, thread because it's, it's a running thread, but that's how they sell them, and I just cut them off because they're way too long. Uh, I wish I could find some, maybe some of you guys can get them. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, red and blue handle quarter turn stops for a washing machine a 90 degree stop uh, that's got a short shank just half inch you know uh, I'd like to find them so I can get them on my truck right now I'm buying them off of Amazon uh, and they come with like a two inch shank I can show you what they look like actually pretty simple and I've never had an issue with them, to be honest with you. I mean, I've done this a thousand times, but uh, I'd rather not have to break out the grinder 
and uh, and cut this shank off, man. So these are the valves. They're about 30 bucks on Amazon. Comes with a hammer arrestor, which is great. Uh, but I end up cutting about an inch, an inch off of this shank so that they fit comfortably in a washer box. Um, but if anybody knows of uh, an, some that come with the shank already cut, I'd appreciate it if you could share that with me. Uh, I like these, they work great, they look good. The homeowners, they come with a red and blue handle, which is always nice. Not really necessary, but you know, it looks good. So I'm gonna run up and get myself an omelet at the uh, Snaffy's, the, at the uh, Breakfast Nazi. Uh, either that or I'm gonna get the uh, lasagna dinner, you know guy's funny with the with the menu like wherever he comes from he don't believe in breakfast you know you go in there at 6 30 in the morning it's either fucking shepherd's pie or fucking lasagna what are you gonna do i'll take the shepherd's pie that's what i do they say bird shit brings good luck I have been shit upon. Shit upon. Hey guys. So I'm over here at the... I'm over here at the breakfast Nazi's place. And... This looks like there's been a little stir up here. A little stir up. A little cooking pun. You know, a little kitchen humor. A little stir up. Ah, get it? Using the spoon, stirring. Yeah, I'm just fucking. My wit is endless. Anyways, I'm thinking the soup Nazi, I mean the uh, the breakfast Nazi might be gone, man. Cause they, they're cleaning this place up in there, man. Getting a new grill. I couldn't get my omelet, but everything's in new packages. And uh, this place might be under new management. And uh, unfortunately, the breakfast Nazi might have might have been sent packing. I don't know, man. I like the guy, to be honest with you. But uh, we'll see. Seems to be a new cook back there, and this other guy's been here for like 12 years, man. No breakfast for you. Fucking shepherd's pie, then. I'll take the shepherd's pie. Yeah. That was a joke. <laughs> you see, that's my humor. Nobody gets it. I heard your, I heard your, uh, I heard something. I'm not sure what it was. Yes. You're like, oh goodness. They didn't tell me that about you. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna replace these. But, uh, So, are you from Sarasota and you just moved here, or are you from somewhere else? We we moved here from Sarasota. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just a, a little uh, little downsize and a little. Uh, I'm thinking about it myself. <laughs> are you? 
Yeah, I've got an acre of land over there. Uh, it's get it takes a lot with the oak trees and everything, and I'm just uh, I just don't have the energy anymore at my age. And yeah, it, it, there's a lot to be said for sort of simplifying. You know, you get to a stage in life where you know you've accomplished the majority of what you're going to do in your yeah. Now you want to just, I don't want to say relax, because that's not the word, but just simplify. You want to simplify, yeah, that's... And what we found is uh, that the amount of crap you acquire is a function of the amount of space you have. Correct. And uh, so if you've lived in a pretty big house in a pretty big setting for a number of years, you've got a lot of crap around. Yeah. And it takes a lot of, for me, it takes a lot of psychic overhead. Yeah. To, uh, to just manage that. Just looking at it every yeah. day exhausts you. Because every time you, everything you look at, you're like, oh, I need to do this. I need yeah. to do that. I need to get rid of that. Yeah, I need to buy a brand new house and yeah. live in it for yeah. 10 years and then dump it and get another one. Yeah, exactly. So you're getting uh, a new washer and dryer. Where'd you buy it? Best Buy. Uh-huh. Um, Over there on 41? Yeah. I put the plumbing in that place. Oh, did you really? Yep. That was uh, probably, I'd say, 20, 28 years ago. Yeah, I, I think that that's That was a big right. job. It was the first tilt wall construction that I did. Meaning the walls in that place were poured on the ground on the slab, and then they stand them up in place. Oh, yeah. So all the plumbing in the place had to be below grade, you know, below the slab, uh -huh. because the slab was actually the form for the wall. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I enjoyed that. It's fun to do new things and learn new things and. Yeah. One thing I learned is I pitched the air conditioning drains. Uh, so they drain off the back of the building. Mm -hmm. And it just never dawned on me that the roof was pitched. I could have ran them all, you know, the same distance from the roof down. And it would have had pitch on it. Oh. Yeah, it's, it wasn't my job. I was working for somebody at that point. Now, do you post all our conversation or do you edit? No, yeah, I, I mean, that's really... You know, when it comes to these videos, the interaction with the homeowner is really, uh, is is interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because every house you go into, the people are different. They're from other places. They have stories to share. And it really, without it, it's, it just takes away from it. You know, that's why I inform people that I'm videotaping. But. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. That's it, my friend. 125. 125? That's it. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you take credit cards by any chance? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I just do cash or check. Let me go turn the water on. Crank these guys, these these guys from Best Buy. That's gonna be tight. Um, all right, guys. So we're all set here. I've rotted this drain out um, within the last year, and I've rotted this out. So. We're all good. All right, guys, so this might end up on the blooper reel, but this 
gentleman asked me or I offered to help him take this cabinet down. He is a fellow New Englander, you know, so we got to do what we have to. I appreciate it. You... If I lose a limb, it's going to cost you. I just yeah. want to get that on film. There we go. My limbs are expendable. I can get uh, the two on the yeah, far right. side. Very well. Yeah, why don't you do that? I want to keep this ladder centered on it. Yeah, exactly. And really basically protect this plumbing. Russian? You don't look Russian. There's another screw here. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. If you can, uh, because I am videotaping, yep. kind of limit your profanity. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's a real joke on oh. my channel. Yeah. All, All right, right, hang on. We're moving out. We're moving here. Yeah. Yeah. What is? Is that other cabinet staying? No, it's coming out. So don't even don't worry about. Now. All right. I've got. I don't see anything here. No. I it's see just that. Gym. You ready? Yep. Get your shoulder under it, baby. Okay. All right. Put it on the ladder. Wow. All right, you ready to put it down? Let's get this out of the way. I've got it. You got it? I have the, la uh, the cabinet. I'm gonna sneak behind the cabinet. Should I move this out? I yeah, thought it might be easy to place it on the floor. I am a true jump picker. I'm sitting here. I just told you about all the crap I have in my house. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this thinking, can I use it? All if right. you can, no, I'm good. I saved all the hardware and all the. Uh... All right, do you want to take it right out? Yeah, let's take it out. Where do you want it? Just in front of the garage door, I guess for now, because I'm either gonna. I gotta like. Wait till you see. Uh, I'm not gonna show you my garage. It's an embarrassment. Ah, oh, shut I think. Yeah, I think. No, you don't know who it is. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, crap. Excuse my yeah, yeah. Crap is. Uh, you might. We're, we're gonna have to really squeeze this guy in to get it out of here. Yeah, we'll squeeze it out. Here at John Phillips Plumbing, we go above and beyond. Oh, that is for sure. This is your stuff. I'm gonna break here. Here, I'll walk backwards, all right? If you can get on this end, okay. maybe straddle that or something. Oh my goodness. Let's put it down. 
swing it more. Just the base. Hang on. All right, we're in. We're out. Picture of it, tell them what you have. They probably, honestly, I don't think they take it. Yeah, it's a lot. It's they've got so many kitchen sets up there. All right, let me get my camera. Thank you for that assist. I wasn't. I don't think I was going to take that on my own. That was more work than the service call. <laughs> All right, buddy. Have it's welcome to the next time. Yeah. Thank you. I have to put that in the memory banks. Yeah. Um. Welcome to the neighborhood, my friend. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. And uh, call me if you need anything. I will. Thank you. Look at this, guys. Back to the big tool bag. I just have to have so many tools, man. It's a, it's a problem. I really don't like not having what I need with me. I'm 125 bucks in the plus column already this morning. And a new customer, fellow New Englander. He's from He's from uh, Massachusetts. I didn't, I don't know him that well. Might be a little early to bring up politics, but just my feeling is he's a good liberal. He's got a Prius in the driveway. His wife's driving a Prius. I'm thinking they're libs, man. I like it. Let's see if this goes here. I'm recording you you're not in the witness protection program are you yeah straighten it out perk them boobs up how you doing kiddo if my boobs were as big as my nose I'd be sitting pretty I gotta go walk Maggie look at that you got your camera yeah I'm hey, doing a video how hard is it to install a toilet in the laundry room where there's already plumbing not hard right there's no flange in the floor for a toilet. You gotta jackhammer the floor up, man. Because we have two bathrooms in this house and they each belong to each bedroom. So right. So if you come over or we're having a barbecue, like. Why don't you just no add a bathroom. door? Add another door. Is that a. Uh, it's in a pocket door and then you go each way, but it's stupid set up. It's a stupid fucking house, but that's right. Whatever. You gotta check the fucking IQ of the house before you buy it, honey. It's the IQ of the owner. Ah. Uh. You That's always, your you mom. You always assume your mom to be smarter than you, and then they never usually are. Come here, you got you went a little off. Oh, with the, gray. No, you. Oh, the your fucking eye. No, I that's make a scar. A, oh, okay. I Isn't thought you horrible? fucking drew a no. line. I got. I it's thought you went a little high. It's a scar where I fell and smashed my head, 
and it went here, just missed my eye, and down my cheek. I fainted. Wow. I fainted, I hit a Jeep, and then I was out cold. Were you and drinking? One, I was on my second beer. Yeah. I ate too fast and stood up. Yeah. Got the, got the I didn't feel well, so I sat down, and then I, I, I thought I was going to throw up, so I got out of my friend's Jeep and went to the back and didn't quite make it. So I want to ask you a question. It, it may be a little good. inappropriate. But how'd you like that sausage I gave you the other day? I like the sausage. The it's sausage good, huh? It's good. It wasn't too salty. Wasn't too big? No, I thought it'd be too fatty at first, but it was, uh, it was manageable. Hey, you I got some it. good jokes. Lay a, lay a good joke. small doses. There no, you I go. I gotta go. I'm fucking late. Ah! <laughs> See you later. Fucking with the neighbors. I'm just fucking with the neighbors. I gave her a fucking pound of shit east the other day. You can imagine that. She stuffed it in her fucking shirt. She's walking around with fucking a pound of shit east hanging out of her cleavage. <sighs> My daughter always says, Dad, you could have done without that segment. That's probably the case here, too. I always go too far always it's something i'm working on trying to change some behavior modification uh you learn a lot about yourself uh when you open yourself up to the world to be fucking criticized by every fucking lazy son of a bitch sitting in a fucking lazy boy watching me work being critical just kidding I'm just kidding. I had to stop taking the fucking, uh, the stuff, man. I had to stop taking the allergy medicine, man. It was messing with my balance. My sleep is all messed up. Just not good, man. And I still haven't washed my truck, y'all. Maybe I'll get the pressure cleaner out. Oh, look at the butterflies, man. Well, I think this is number 416, y'all. 416 videos. Can you imagine how much useless shit I've spewed in 415 or 16 videos? Jesus. It's hard to imagine. Alright guys, have a great day. That was a tough one. That's how you change washing machine valves. Uh, you turn the water off. I didn't I forgot to tell you that. I turned the water off before I got in the house. Uh, drained it down at the laundry tub because the laundry tub was lower than the washing machine valves. And uh, they looked fairly new. I could have probably replaced a washer. But shit like that, to me, is a throwaway item. I'm not going to sit there and break my knuckles trying to get the bonnet off of a fucking $2 valve. Uh, it ain't worth my time. It ain't worth my effort. And them bonnets, some of them are son of a gun to get off, man. Anyways, have a great day. I hope y'all learned something. Uh-oh. Let's see what this is. You're going to hear one side of a... Phillips Plumbing, this John speaking. Uh, oh, the guy, your YouTube subscriber? Uh-huh. Um, you're going to have to refresh my memory. I've probably gotten 200 calls between the last... That's okay. So what's, you've got a squeaky pipe, where? Oh, oh yeah, I replaced your tank. No? Okay. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you now. Yeah. Are you there now? Uh, can you text me your address? And I'll grab a, a pressure tank and we'll, I'll come out and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where are you located again? Okay. All right, that'll be a nice drive. I'll be there in about an hour, but send me your all the information I need, please. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So, this guy, he's... He called me... I literally get 40 calls a day, guys. It's too much. You're fucking numb with the phone ringing. And it's very hard to manage working and, and answering calls and getting back to people. And I'll be honest, man. A lot of times I don't even fucking call people back just because I can't, man. That's all I do all fucking day is answer the phone. I mean, I look back every day how many calls are coming in. Some of them are... Uh, a lot of them are actually, you know, bullshit calls from telemarketers or whatever. But uh, I got to the point where when I'm working in a job, I just leave the, the uh, phone in the truck, man. And uh, that's it. So anyways, uh, he's got a squeaky pipe issue. Uh, he's got a gas water heater. He, I had him test the, uh, the pressure tank on the top. Uh, the expansion tank he said it sounded solid all the way through so I'm gonna run down there I'm not climbing through an attic if the house has been repiped and he's got a squeaky pipe um, unfortunately a lot of guys um, drilling hole size and and using straps properly is very very important if if that wasn't if they were uh, drilling very tight holes uh, you'll get a squeaky pipe every time that that pipe expands if you're drilling real tight holes I used to drill inch and an eighth holes and then I could stick the uh, Mickey Mouse strap in the hole so that the pat the uh, pipe is riding in those guides in the strap uh, and then uh, obviously if you use it a flat strap that's gonna you know it's gonna ride in those in that little raceway too um, but hole size means a lot man don't be drilling real tight holes because that shit will squeak like hell every time somebody turns a hot water uh, faucet on so I'm gonna head down there and uh, see what we can get into I gotta pick up a couple uh, tanks expansion tanks I've, I've burned through all the ones I have I believe so I gotta go pick a couple up I wonder how much they are today fucking 800 bucks a piece I just go buy them somewhere else fuck it that's what we get that's what you got motherfucker all right so They've got a sound emanating from the plumbing when they use a... Go ahead. Okay, you see you want her to do that? Yes. Yeah, it's coming from the back flow. Sir, it's coming from this. Come here, feel this. Put your hand on it. You can hear it. Yeah, that's what your problem is. I, I may have a rebuild kit for that. Is that a, is that a city product? Should no, they... no, that's yours. You own that, bud. <laughs> I gotta rebuild this backflow. Alright guys, so this guy is a serious fucking tight wad. He doesn't want to fix the pressure tank. I told him we could eliminate the pressure tank, 
put a 125 relief valve in here, which is how the house was built. Uh, and then somebody sold them a water heater and put a pressure tank on in the house for thermal expansion. But this is an acceptable practice here in Sarasota, Florida. In Venice. You can install this, which is a 125. I use the Tampa proof. Uh, relief valve half inch screw that in right there and there's no need for an expansion tank in the house this will lift at 125 psi so he doesn't want to put this in he doesn't want to spend the money to do that he doesn't want to spend the money to put an expansion tank on even though he knows it's bad all he wants is this noise gone and uh, so what I'm gonna try to do the simplest thing for me to do is take this apart I'm not gonna I'm not testing it I'm just getting rid of the noise one of these poppets in here is stuck and uh, I just need to clean it grease it put it back together man and eliminate the noise and I was joking with the guy. I said, well, you're going to make sure you tell these new homeowners that they need an expansion tank, right? And he said, of course. Yeah. Of course. So these, nothing came out of it is telling me that those ports are probably closed. So I'm just gonna clean this up. Oh fuck, I gotta move. Same thing happened at the last house I was at. I think she's gonna be able to get by me. So the seat, the seat feels good in there. Uh, I'm just gonna clean this thing up and grease it, and that's it, man. John, can you give her a couple more inches?
guy probably just sold this house for fucking seven, eight hundred thousand dollars, and he don't want to spend a couple hundred bucks to get it right. I don't know. Experience, guys. As soon as I heard that noise, I knew to come out here and check this backflow. So obviously you don't want to put too much of this grease on here, but you want to grease it up good so it can actually move. I'm just going to hit this, hit this O-ring with some grease. These back flows, these uh, springs are two different sizes, I believe. I'm gonna run a cleaning brush in there. Nice little cleaning brush. Guys, did you see where I put the spring, man? What did I do? That's why I love putting a blanket down. One thing I can tell is these valves out here, these check valves, double checks, 
they have not been uh, getting them certified every year. Uh, a lot of times they fall by the wayside. This community down here in Venice, they are not uh, enforcing that. So there's a lot of buildup in here, a lot of, just definitely want to make sure you clean that out. I can hear my phone going nuts in the truck. So this guy, he's really, um, he's a tight wad. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change this, put so they have some degree of uh, thermal expansion protection in this house. Could get some water from this. Rip and get some Teflon. Tighten this up before I forget. I do have these rebuild kits on on this uh, on my truck for this in case I need an O-ring or something. Uh, but this is not considered a rebuild, so it doesn't. I don't need to certify it. I'm sure some of you will be all up in arms. That GoPro's hot, y'all. Oh, am I glad I moved that. Woo, doggy, that would have been a face full of water.
still making that noise, man. Hopefully we got it. Let me go tell him to turn the water on. Still making that noise. Let me make sure it's with this open all. Yeah, go ahead again. I, I had this valve semi-closed. guys so I tried to help them by just cleaning this thing up that didn't do it so let me get some parts go from there Unfortunately, I do not have a complete kit, but I do have the, the gaskets that I need. So I'm just going to change the springs and gaskets on this. I do have the O-rings, so I'm just going to replace that.
The good thing about these Wilkins uh, backflows are the rebuild kits are exactly the same for a one inch and a three quarter, uh, which is why they'll accept a three quarter inch backflow on a one inch service because that's all you got on the inside, man. So I want to match these up. Make sure I've got the same spring. Got a brand new gasket here. Uh, got some of Gussie's hair on it. I will tell you if there was a a name tag on here from another company that services this backflow I would have had to just refer him to them uh, because those guys can be some they can be pricks putting it mildly they think they own these once they get the contract you know god forbid you touch it I think most guys get into the backflow business because they think it's going to be easy money, you know? No hard work, everybody else. But. I think we fixed it, guys, this time. so I can hear water running through this the noise is gone mission accomplished he's at 150 25 175 I may give him the gaskets in spring seeing I don't have complete kits anyways but we'll see he just he's kind of rubbing me the wrong way it's valve for you. It's yeah, you put the expansion piece yeah, in there. Yeah, I right? did that so that yeah. you're safe. I mean, that, that stuff blows up water systems in houses. So it works good? Yeah. and just put a plug in it you don't need it now because you have that 
or we can leave it be so it doesn't yeah. raise any eyebrows or we can replace it yeah so we're we're burning daylight here um, probably ought to just replace the damn thing you got if it you've got time I do okay open the garage please I'll get you knocked out here
These guys, whoever these people are, all pro water heaters, $795 in 2017 or 12. These prices are long gone. Close that faucet, please. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Discount coupons. Discount coupons? For me? My daughter is getting her car fixed. And sometimes they don't know to even ask if there's coupons in there. Yeah. Well, that doesn't take a lot. Took oh. five minutes. It's getting here where the cost comes in. And having the truck. <laughs> you can feel how heavy this is. It's solid. Full of water. Look at the top of it. All closed off. Yeah, yeah I can throw it away. Okay. Have at it. You want to turn it upside down over here? Yeah, I'll take it out back. Let it drain. Wow, look at that. It's for sale. Alright guys, so we're all set here, man. I got his backflow fixed. I want to go inside and, and confirm that it's not making. Hey, bud, can we go inside and make, I want to listen for myself to make sure that that stuff's not making noise anymore, yeah. especially over in the master. Yeah. Let me get my rag. Ah. Let's go over here. Oh, okay. You you do it over there to make the noise. Yeah, it's not making any noise. You're all set. You so say you're at six hundred and ninety-five dollars, including the two gaskets I put in on the backflow. No, I'm kidding. Let's uh, no, I'm not serious. How you pa I take a check another, or another plumbing joke? Yeah, yeah, another bad joke. Usually the people fall on the floor. Yeah, I did. I, I would they all ask though. Everybody says they look kind of look at me like I'm crazy and say, okay. No, I didn't. I never went there. <laughs> all right, guys, so. This guy's on his way out of this house. Got a new pressure tank. I put a, re it's kind of redundant, but if that pressure tank goes in the, in the house, we've got this back, this relief valve that'll last 20 years. Rather than that pressure tank that could blow off. The one that I took off is all uh, closed off. And, uh, so he's in better shape than he was when I got here. That's what I'm trying to say. He seems like a little bit of a skeptic. I'm just saying. I'm going to ask him about it.
How are you paying, sir? A check? John Phillips Plumbing Service. Let me figure out what you owe me. Two forty, my friend. Okay. If you want to give me 340, I'll take it. We accept gratuities, you know? Oh, yeah. They call that selective hearing. You got that, Joe? You got that, Joe? Deep St. Augustine grass has stolen many, many tools. Look at, see this shit? You just can't see it. That's why it always pays to go back, man. Go back, Jack. That's what, that's what my man James Brown would tell me. Go back, Jack. Kick Biden in the ass while you're at it. Hey, uh, James Brown, if you're listening, I've got an extra Biden t-shirt. Go ahead and send me a uh, self-addressed stamped uh, you know, it's got to be a pretty good size envelope with all the bullshit that I'm going to stuff in it, but it's all Biden memorabilia. Sunglasses, uh, you know, the aviators, you know, badass, old Irish guy. Yeah. Unlike fucking Crunchberry ass Trump. Did he go to jail today yet? Huh? Hey bud, you need an invoice? I hate writing them up. I know. Okay. Uh, can I give you some business cards? Uh, yeah, I can leave them here. Yeah. Two hundred calls a week. You shouldn't need it you know, to hand them out. What does that mean? I'm doing two hundred. And I had to have a bone marrow transplant. I'm sorry. And uh, six years out from my transplant, almost seven. And. Uh, I feel great, but I only work from 10 to 2, man. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm not going to kill my... I'm not going to die with a wrench in my hand. You well, know what I I'm saying? I wish I would have known you were around when I first moved here. That, But I can give this to Dave. He's a good guy. And, okay. And leave one for um, the new people. Okay. Thanks, All right, John. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. God bless me. This would be a nice little community to grab on his way out the door. If he get, he said his neighbor, he's a real good guy. He's gonna give him one of my business cards. So, and he's gonna leave one leave one on the counter in there for the new homeowner
You can't buy experience, man. You cannot buy it. You gotta spend the time either standing next to somebody who knows what they're doing or you're just learning as you go, uh, which, you know, no, no problem with that. Uh, that's the second time I've come across that problem. The first time was a house that these people live with that noise, that humming, pop it noise. It's a distinct noise. A lot of times when people call and they've got an issue like that, it's especially down here in the south where it's so hot, they'll leave a hose bib on and when the when the uh, <clears throat> when the hose heats up, it will actually, you know, that water's fucking damn near boiling hot and it'll start to push back through the vacuum breaker on the hose bib and it makes a really uh, loud noise when you flush a toilet or whatever. A lot of times hose bibs are coming off the outside wall uh, neck close to a toilet or in that bathroom somewhere. Uh, but I told them to check all the hose bibs, make sure they're off and make sure the, the water is drained down in the hoses and he said he had already done all of that and still couldn't figure it out. I don't know if he had another plumber there or not, but as soon as I heard it, I knew I needed to go out to the back flow and listen and it was vibrating like hell. I thought I could just uh, clean it up and grease it, throw it back together. Uh, I'm not sure what actually fixed it. Um, you know, the new springs because the new ones were definitely a little bigger uh, than the yeah so um, I'm not sure what exactly fixed it the new gaskets or, or all of it I used the same poppets uh, I just changed the gaskets and springs put it back together and the o-rings and um, I'm down the road like I said those things they haven't been certified Ever. I looked down the street, all the houses that I went by, there are no tags on them. So nobody's certifying them. Sarasota County is actually getting away from the above ground double checks. Uh, all they're requiring now on a house is, I believe it's a Watts 007, an inline double check valve that uh, they've got a picture, they've got a drawing they're, sent, they're putting out tells you how to install it in a meter box in front of the meter but it doesn't need to be inspected they they recommend you replace it every 10 years but there's going to be no monitoring nobody's going to know when they were replaced they kind of they're kind of getting away from it just because of the amount of manpower it takes to keep track of every backflow uh in a county and you know to be honest those above ground backflows and are, are a nuisance and they actually create the problem that they're supposed to prevent a broken water line well when you pop the water line up at the end of a fucking driveway 12 or 18 inches high and put this big contraption out there every day in sarasota probably 10 15 backflows get hit by lawnmowers people backing over them uh just they're a nuisance and uh, so they've decided to do away with them, the above ground. Uh, so that's what it is, that's the deal. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun for me to get back out, do a couple jobs, uh, make a little money today, not much, but I did that job for $240. Let me know what you'd do it for. Put a relief valve on, rebuilt the backflow, and did a pressure tank. I'm happy with what I got. Made a, made a little bit of money on the material. I'm not sure where the fuck I am, guys. Oh, I know why. where the fuck I am. I need to, I need to be going straight, man. Going straight across the street, yo. Man, I'm way the fuck down here. Hey guys, I went and uh, I bought a couple tape measures. When I was doing new construction, I carried a 35 foot tape measure with me. 
uh, no need for that anymore. You know you're getting close to retirement age or at least, uh, you know, desk duty when you're buying a 12-foot fucking Stanley tape measure. That's a nice one, though, man. It's big enough that it'll actually, it's not going to collapse when you pull it out. But, man, I don't think I'll ever have to run anything again that I need to measure more than 12 feet. That's a good thing, y'all. We put our time in. I, I contributed while I could.